Hey guys, quick video for you today, and by quick I mean like zero production value at all. You can see I got some gear laid out here, got some stuff on the table all laid out, planning for a little trip this weekend. So basically, um, I got my weekends mixed up, so next weekend is actually my long weekend, so I'm going on a, a pretty sweet like 40, nearish 40 mile loop with some people on that. But I'm still gonna go out this weekend, do a little overnighter, uh, just with the sole purpose of testing out uh, this new six moon designs uh, tarp and tent that I have. I just I just need to sleep in them. I need to actually uh, try them. That's pretty much it. So basically, I'm taking like nothing. This could pretty much be kind of considered like one of those stupid ultralight videos that I make every now and then. I'm I'm not taking a lot, so I'm going to show you guys just what I'm taking on this little trip. So I won't have to explain anything in the video. For the pack, I'm going with the light AF multi day pack, Tucker approved. Uh, yeah, super, super light pack. I'm not expecting any rain or anything, so I'm not even bringing like any type of waterproofing in here. If I, I mean, I'm only actually gonna hike in like a mile or two to a campsite and hike out the next morning. So it's not real backpacking, just testing out some gear. I have the hammock gear, uh, 20 degree econ bag. Uh, it's definitely gonna drop down into the 20s and I've been kind of a baby, uh, kind of uh, spoiling myself using the zero degree a lot in the cold weather because I've lost faith in this bag or this quilt in the uh, lower 20 degree range. So I kind of want to test it out, see how it does actually in the 20s. Um, here I have the Nemo Tensor Insulated Regular Wide Sleeping Pad. Uh, I gotta be honest with you guys, I can't stop using this thing. <laughs> I used it one time and I have not went back to any other pad since. I'm gonna jump back and forth between the Neo Air here eventually, but this thing is awesome. The tent here, uh, this is actually a tarp. Six Moon Designs Deschutes tarp. Super light, it's like uh, 13 ounces, maybe something like that. And then the Serenity net tent to go with that. If I get out there and there's not like a bunch of bugs, I'm probably going to just tarp it and not use the net tent, which is why I brought this. This is a footprint to a North Face tent that I have. A little bit heavy, but I got nothing really, so I'm not worried about weight. That way I'll have a nice luxurious floor for the tarp if I choose to do that. The tent pole I'm bringing this uh, carbon fiber pole weighs less than like two ounces for the tarp. No trekking poles, anything like that. Here's my tent bag. I'm gonna use these Six Moon Designs like MSR Groundhog style stakes. Uh, normally I use little titanium ones, but I'm just kinda trying these ones out. Bring in the chair in the Hilltop Packs printed Dyneema uh, sack that has my face on it. Ghost Whisperer, it's my puffy jacket. Probably the only extra piece of clothing I'm gonna wear or I'm gonna bring. I'm actually gonna wear like a fleece and uh, some other things. My possibles pouch or whatever, I'm gonna have basically a uh, spork, a headlamp, my knife. Uh, here's my food bag, but I'm not gonna count that yet because I haven't done anything with it. So I'm gonna actually weigh all this up and show you my base weight as is uh, without food consumables and stuff. I'm gonna put fuel in that though, just just because. But uh, so yeah, I have my phone that's gonna go in that bag. Here's my poop kit, goes in this bag. It's got toilet paper, hand sanitizer, the deuce of uh, spades poop trowel or cat, cat hole digger trowel thing. Um, I have this tiny little, what is it, like a four ounce? I don't know what it is. Fuel canister. Well, I would bring alcohol, except I'm too lazy to go buy some right now. Uh, but that's basically just for coffee, oatmeal in the morning if I want to do that. So here I have my GSI uh, Java Drip. Now in order to use this, you need to have two, two cups so you can hook it up on one and pour it from another. So I bring my coffee mug. Um, these are my Tokes, Tokes pots. This is actually a Tokes 650 milliliter titanium pot. This is the Tokes 450, I believe, which actually weighs more than that because it's a cup and not a pot, which I didn't know when I bought it. Uh, my stove is actually a BRS. Uh, still new to me, so I need to really get more practice with these because I know they're easy, but I just haven't used them much, so. I got my little pot holder so I don't burn myself, and there's a lighter in there. Uh, I also have this little pack towel that I skipped over that's gonna go in the bag with that stuff. And yeah, that is 
it. I might forget something. There's probably something I'm gonna throw in there last minute. I also need to retape my uh, my pot koozie here. I ripped off all the tape because it was starting to come off anyway. So I'll retape that before I go. Got the camera uh, positioned up on my coffee beans here. Uh, that's how lazy I'm going tonight. Not even doing a tripod. But uh, yeah, so this is this is just like a little bonus video for you guys, showing you what I'm gonna be carrying, testing out uh, this gear this weekend. Um, I'm actually gonna make another gear video, like a, with a legit, like actual gear loadout for my new spring setup, uh, probably in a week or two, uh, in preparation for that next next trip. But let's see what this guy weighs. Of uh, nine pounds even. Um, so add four pounds for camera. That's 10, 11, 12. 13 pound base weight, pretty much with camera gear. Uh, add in a couple a couple bottles of water because I'm not bringing a filter. I'm just gonna pack in the water. You're really not supposed to drink the water there anyway. A um, little bit of food, so I'll be like a maybe 15, 16 pound uh, pack loaded up with camera gear and everything else. So that's it. Just my little my little gear testing pack here. Super small bag. You can't really fit a lot in this anyway. Probably going to use the other light AF pack, my white one here, on the next trip, but that's in another video for another day. That's it, little bonus video for you guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe down below to catch this trip video and the next trip. Okay, I'm not going to say where I'm going next week, but it has been on my radar for probably three years solid. It's just, it's always been on the top of the list, just haven't made it yet. Which is funny because I was planning on going there and then I got hit up by people that were going. It just worked out perfectly. So yeah, not gonna spoil that though. You gotta subscribe down below. Hit that notification bell beside it so you don't miss that surprise. And yeah, that's it. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.